Now there are different multiple antenna solutions. The one I just took you through is sometimes referred to as spatial multiplexing, transmitting on multiple antennas and receiving on multiple antennas. There is another multi-antenna solution called beam forming. And beam forming is when I transmit on multiple antenna elements and those transmissions combine in such a way to form a beam and I can focus that beam and gain both distance or I can focus my energy on that station and operate at a higher level of modulation and coding rate which means I can get to a higher data rate. So the way to think about beam forming that I find the easiest way to think about it is imagine if you would you're a child and you're playing with pebbles in a pond or a lake and you throw two pebbles in and they land on the lake at the same time and both of those pebbles they ripple out waveforms and where those waveforms come together they can form peaks, crests, where the signals have reinforced each other and in other places they flatten each other out and they form a null. And this is the concept of beam forming. If I transmit from multiple antennas and I control what I'm transmitting and I control the gain and the phase, I can create patterns. And those patterns can be one beam, two beams, three beams, depending on how many antenna elements I have. And so what I'm able to do is to combine the signals from multiple antennas to form beams to reinforce the signal in some areas towards those uses. And just like my pebbles in a pond, not only can I form crests, which are the beams towards different uses, is I can form those nulls and actually cancel out interference from other uses. So beam forming. It's available in the higher end 80211 Cisco products because it's pretty expensive. You will also see beam forming being used not only for N products, but Cisco also use it for A and G. And this is not in the standards, <laughs> but it does improve the range that you can transmit to an A and a G radio. One last thing I want to tell you about beam forming before we move on, and it's very important, is that when I talk about beam forming, I typically tend to talk about them in the transmit mode because it's easier to understand. But antennas are reciprocal, which means that I can form beams for transmitting and I can form beams for receiving. And what does a beam for receiving mean? What that means is I form a beam, I focus in my antennas to receive energy from a specific direction. And therefore I'm not going to receive energy and interference from things that are outside of that beam.